Hey guys, YouTuber Winner here. And so, tonight on Raw, WWE announced that their first inductee in the Hall of Fame class this year will be Sting. Uh, man, then. Gosh, I mean, is this really the right time to put Sting in the WWE Hall of Fame? I mean, he's he's barely been in the company so far. I mean, he's only been in the company for just a little over a year, and even then, he hasn't even appeared that much. I mean, he made the appearance at Survivor Series, and he made the few appearances up to WrestleMania last year, and he appeared during the rivalry with Seth Rollins in, back in September. But, I mean, yeah, and since then, he's been injured. I mean... Sting really hasn't been appearing in the WWE that much since he debuted. Now, yeah, I mean, I know that Sting has quite the career outside the WWE, of course. I mean, he's, of course, he's had the career in the NWA and the WCW and TNA, of course, but, yeah, WWE is obviously not going to acknowledge that. But, yeah, I know that Sting has had quite the career outside the WWE, and I know that there are people in the WWE Hall of Fame that are in it because of their work in other promotions like Ric Flair and Harley Race and the Four Horsemen. Yeah, yeah, just all those other... And there's other people, of course, too. Vern Gagne and, yeah, other people. Yeah, I'm, yeah, just a few examples. I'm not going to list all of them. But, yeah, there are people that are in the WWE Hall of Fame because of what they've done in other promotions. But, I mean... Is this really the right time for Sting to go into the WWE Hall of Fame? I mean, and considering how short Sting is, has been in the company so far, it seems like this was the main reason that he came, just so he could be put into the WWE Hall of Fame. And um, I just feel like it's really just, it's too soon for him to go in, because of how short he's been in the WWE so far. And plus, we've recent, recently seen Sting in the WWE also. I mean, yeah, he of course he's not around right now because he injured his neck. And yeah, we don't know yet if he will be able to come back for WrestleMania to face The Undertaker or somebody else. But yeah. I mean, yeah. And yeah, this is something I don't like but when the WWE Hall of Fame. I mean, there's a lot of things not to like about it, but... Now, one of the things I really don't like about it is that they, on, like, several times that they've had their main inductee be a person that has recently been in the company, or just, like, a person that the people really, like, are, really know, and, you know, the WWE just puts them because the, it seems like the, it's just because the fans really, like, know the person a lot, and, yeah, they're, they've recently left the company, or just something, like, they're about to retire or something, and, yeah. They just make them the main inductee. They did it with Ric Flair in 2008. They did it with Shawn Michaels in 2011. He just left the company the year before. And yeah, they did it with Edge in 2012. Oh well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, this is just something I don't like about the Hall of Fame inductees. The WWE just always has their main inductee. Well, not always, but on several occasions, they have their main inductee just be somebody that's recently left the company or is about to leave. Yeah, because yeah, with Ric Flair in 2008, he was still technically a contracted superstar with the company, and yeah, he didn't retire till the next day at WrestleMania. Yeah, and yeah, with like Shawn Michaels and Edge, they just retired the previous years before their induction. Yeah, they just get inducted like the following year. I mean. Yeah, that's what I something I don't like. Just like with like Shawn Michaels and Edge, it's like they just get inducted too soon. I mean, I really don't see what the rush was to like put them in the Hall of Fame just the, right after they retired. All right, I mean, yeah, you could have actually waited, waited a while before you actually put them in the Hall of Fame. I mean, and you, and you didn't see like people like. Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, your Roddy Piper, 
Yeah, you didn't see, like, people like them. You didn't see them getting put into the Hall of Fame, like, immediately after they left the company. I mean, the WWE actually waited a while before actually putting them in. Yeah, and yeah, now with Sting, I mean, just, I feel it's too soon. I mean, they could, I think they could have actually, like, pushed this off until next year. Because, yeah, if Sting is cleared to go to WrestleMania, and yeah, he could have his match with Undertaker, then he could retire, along with Undertaker, and then next year, he could have put the both of them in the Hall of Fame, but yeah, just with Sting now, I just feel it's, it's too soon for him to go in, and, because, I mean, he's just, he's hardly been in WWE so far, and yeah, yeah, and I just, yeah, despite all of the stuff that he's done outside the WWE with WCW and WWE and stuff, yeah, I feel like he should still at least have, like, a little bit more than what he's done so far in the WWE before the WWE actually decides to put him in. So, yeah, this is just how I feel about it. I mean, if you guys support Sting's induction this year, that's fine, but... Yeah, for me, I just feel it's too soon. Um, but yeah, Sting is going to the Hall of Fame this year, yeah. I really hope that this isn't the last time we see him. Because, I mean, yeah, I really doubt that Sting and a lot of people really want to see Sting's final wrestling appearance be how it was at Night Your Champions. I mean, I'm sure Sting and a lot of people really want to see him go out a better way than that. And yeah, of course, it would be to have a match with Undertaker and yeah. I'm hoping that he can and be okay to compete at WrestleMania this year. We really don't know how, what the consequences of his neck injury are and, yeah, what the effects are and, yeah, how long it will last and if he will be cleared to go to WrestleMania. But, yeah, let's we'll see what happens over the next few months leading up to WrestleMania. And, yeah, we, let's just have our fingers crossed that he'll be able. So... Yeah, alright, so yeah, that's all I really had to say about this, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.